Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brini from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Python and this is specifically SNG207, Programming for Engineers, a course taught at the University of Ghana. So if you have been following along, we have this particular structure we have been following and this has been put together in terms of this structure, like the chapters of a book. So currently we are on chapter 18 where we are discussing Python classes or object oriented programming. So this I believe is going to be a number of series of videos. So actually this is the second part of the video with regards to object oriented programming. If you haven't watched the first one, I think there's much value in there. I think you should watch that one and come back to this one. So I'll collapse this so that we have a bigger slate over here. So in here, and of course in the first video, we looked at a baking pan class and there were some few things we were doing over here. So we created a class and we named it baking pan. And we are now we are creating objects out of this baking pan class. Now this object we have over here is a bread. Now let's say we have bread one. So I'm changing the name to bread one because we can create a number of these breads. And I'm just going to create, for instance, maybe bread two or the second bread. And also we can get this from the baking pan class. And of course, I can print out, so I'll duplicate this and print out bread 2. So now when I run this, remember what I said in the first video about this. Okay, so there's some memory location. That's the bread 1 object, which is the first one we are printing over here. It's being stored in memory. And the bread 2 object is also being stored in this particular memory location. We don't have to worry so much about this memory location. We just have to learn how we put things up over here. So if your guess is as good as mine, we can create breads over and over again using the same baking pan class. But clearly, creating a bread this way is not going to be as interesting as some of you would have wished it was. Let me clear this bread too and let's concentrate on bread one. And now what I want to do is, I want to put ingredients in my bread. So not just using the baking pan class. This is just giving me the structure, the template, the blueprint for which I want to create this bread or bake this bread. I now want to have ingredients in here. So let's assume in a bakery for a normal bread, and I'm putting this in a comment over here. In a normal bread, we will need ingredients such as flour. Then we will need sugar. Sugar goes into bread. Then in the context of how I want this to print, let's say we have something we call a special ingredient. And I'm going to explain exactly what this, is, this special ingredient is going to do. So in order to put these ingredients inside of the bread, we can now do bread one dot flour. And let's assume there's hard flour and there's soft flour. So the flour should be soft over here for bread one. Now I can also do bread one dot sugar and in the case of sugar i'd want to look at this from the quantity so let's say 20 grams or any other thing you may be thinking about then for the special ingredient i'll do bread one dot special underscore ingredient and i'll set that one to let's say wheat and that's why I said we are putting up a special ingredient over here. So if, for instance, the special ingredient is butter, then that becomes a butter bread. In this case, this is a wheat bread and stuff like that. Good. So now we have this. And whenever you use the dot operator, I think I've said this in the past, that it's almost as if we are going into it. So we are going into bread and we are assigning flour as an attribute in there. And we are passing in the value soft. Then for the sugar, we are going into bread passing in an attribute in there and we are assigning the value 20 and in the case of special ingredients we are going into bread one we are passing in an attribute called special ingredient and we are assigning the value wheat over here so a lot of things have changed over here but clearly if i'm to do and let me just print out what i have over here as bread one now when i run this we also get this, at least we don't get an error. But the most important thing I want to show over here is I can now print flour. So I can say bread one dot flour. And now when I run this, I do get soft over here. I can continue to print the sugar this way. 
so bread one does sugar and now we are getting 20 over here because that's what we have over here now let's go back to some of the definition we gave out in the first video that this is object oriented programming and for which reason the code implementation is centered or is positioned around an object and that's exactly what you are doing over here because everything we are doing is around this bread object so even when it comes to assigning values it has to be centered around it has to be positioned it has to be aligned around the objects and that's why we are doing bread one of flour is equal to soft we just didn't do flour is equal to soft bread one of flour is equal to soft we are going into bread and passing in the attributes over here good now let's assume we are creating a new bread for which reason let me just clear this so we want to create a new bread and that's going to be our bread too so this bread too we can still look at this from the baking pan class so this bread too is the object and we are using the same baking pan now i can come down here and for instance do bread two dot flour and this is equal to soft or let me use hard in the case of bread two and i'm also going to do bread two dot sugar and i'm going to set this to let's say 10 10 grams then let's have bread two dot special ingredient so special underscore ingredient this way and this special ingredient i'm going to set this to something like coconut because we want a coconut bread and in this case if i'm to print out what i have over here as bread two dot special ingredient I save this and I run this, I do get coconut over here. Now, this is a point I want to make. We are using this same baking pan and we are creating two different kinds of breads over here. The first one we had over here was a wheat bread, which is bread one. And in the case of bread two, we are having a coconut bread. So we are just assigning the ingredients or in a more generic sense, we are assigning attributes in here because these attributes make what kind of bread that we want to create or what kind of objects that we want to create so this is going to be the end of this video in the next video we are going to look at some few things over here and we are going to redefine or reposition ourselves when it comes to object oriented programming remember i said something that in object oriented programming it's support or the helpers implement dry and dry simply means or dry is an acronym for don't repeat yourself so clearly you could see that we are doing a repetition over here we are calling the bread object and doing dot flower and we are also doing the same thing over here dot flower this is prone to error we can make a lot of errors in this code okay and that's not a good thing to do so in the next video we are going to see how we cut down on we repeating ourselves and that is what is going to lead us to methods now you find value in the content i'm putting out over here kindly support my work by subscribing to the cambro tech channel also don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye and catch you in the next video